Okay, we'll move on to item F, which is a report on the 2013 WASB resolutions. I'm not going to report on those as much as just ask you to review them for next month. Um, so the resolutions that WASB has agreed to bring forward are embedded in the board minutes for you. I've also handed out that these came just late last week and I did not get, the, get them in time to get them embedded. But these are all of the proposals that were initially accepted. Um, as you know, we submitted a proposal in regard to uh, speech language pathology and the DPI working with the institutions of higher education. That is not included in the packet of resolutions because they said it got there late on Monday. And I, I had emailed it on Friday, but then I had also emailed it Monday again after it had been completely approved by the board, which was the process we had used the previous year, and they accepted. So I'm not sure why they weren't interested in um, accepting it this year. However, they took our proposal and created a resolution um, based on that, although we don't get credit for submitting it. So, so there is a resolution in the um, embedded documents in regard to speech language pathology and other specialists that are very hard to find. So. Well, as long as it's in there. Exactly. Yes, well, it is. Mm -hmm. We'll know where it came from. And I think <laughs> they were more amenable to including those other special education service providers yes. along with yes speech language pathology. Yes. That was their to broaden big, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thing last so year. There were other ones. One to approve. So. So, Mrs. Buswell, you are the representative at the state conference, <laughs> <laughs> and it's my understanding I will be out of town. Yes. I know. I know. Who's the yeah. alternate? You're looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> I was told it was Mr. McMullen, by the way. I didn't check it out personally. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, well, I was wondering before we left the topic mm -hmm. if either Mrs. Zardy or Mrs. Deming would speak <laughs> just very briefly and more broadly to the purpose of resolutions. I mean, for everyone listening or watching, it's not entirely clear. These don't become law. No. no. And if you could just sort of briefly describe the point of even doing these resolutions. It's my understanding that um, the school districts bring these to the state convention. You know, they, they decide which ones they want to um, have taken to the Capitol. They have lobbyists that um, represent us then with these resolutions when when bills do come forward that they're they make sure that the legislators know that where the, the a lot of the school boards are leaning toward cert on the certain topics and so no they don't automatically become law but but as a collective group we're saying this is where we stand on these different issues these are the issues that we think are important so it, right. it does carry some weight. Mm -hmm. And the resolutions come from the member school districts submitting those resolutions, as you know. <laughs> and But not every resolution is accepted by the WASB to be supported or to not be supported. I mean, they don't even review some of them. They'll look at that and decide that topic isn't something they care to venture into. You've been in the trenches mm -hmm. there at the voting, so it's got a clear... I mean, once a school submits it, it's got to clear the hurdle of just the WASB accepting it, and then it gets submitted to all the delegates. The delegates. The initial, they have a, their own special board that reviews the original resolutions that are presented from the school boards. They choose the ones they feel are pertinent, and, and mostly it's based on what's happening now in the Capitol, what's important to the district, if they feel there's real merit in what they're looking at. And then they bring it to the delegate assembly, and that is voted on by all. Each school district has one vote, and everyone votes on whether that is accepted or not. And then they move forward from there with their lobbying abilities. And, um, you know, many times they are related to certain bills that they know are coming up in the next general session. They'll hook it to that. So you'll know that there could be some, at least we'll have a say one way or another on how we feel on that, res on that law that may be coming forward. But. And some of the resolutions are, you know, maybe come from um, pockets of the state where it's really specific to their area, and so there's, there tends to be some more discussion on the floor with that, and so those don't always get approved. It just depends on 
you know where the different school districts are at um, on those different resolutions so it may be shot down and not even go forward and it is interesting it's a government <laughs> body and they'll make amendments to the resolution mm -hmm. they may change verbiage they may totally change the meaning of the resolution. It's amazing what they'll do, you know. <laughs> but then it's up to the whole assembly to vote and decide if that's the way you want it. So it's a good experience, it really is. I mean, there's an element of politics that becomes involved even in that because oh, yeah. some, some um, resolutions might help certain school districts, might hurt others. Right, exactly. and that's where the discussion comes mm -hmm. in and sure. people get very animated and um, passionate you know, about, okay. <laughs> about some of the different mm -hmm. resolutions. So it, it is a real interesting experience. So. Joan Green Lee, um, a previous board member, served actually on the committee um, mm -hmm. that went more in depth into you know which ones were presented and mm -hmm. so she she kind of helped share some of that information with the board too as to how they came up with you know which resolutions were approved to even move forward for the state convention. The reasonings behind that. It's a good process. It is. Thanks for the background. Sometimes you get the little automated um, voting as opposed to just the hands up or a paddle. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> One thing that uh, Cindy and I will take a look at these that we try to keep in, in perspective as we're looking at these are the ones that have financial implications. Mm -hmm. And what we look at is that there's only one pot of money for school districts. And when districts start to look at things outside the revenue limits, um, we might not have a need for some of those things based on what we've done in the past. So uh, we're okay with starting programs and, and making changes to the, the finances just so it doesn't do any harm to our status because what the last thing we want to do is, is to see a whole lot of things coming outside the revenue limits. And what that does is it erodes from the general aid that Toma is receiving, so we don't want to see, or we don't like to see too many things, unless it's in our favor. Exactly. <laughs> well, there's only one pot of, of money, and it, it's got to be divided up different ways, and if you start adding more things to it, that means it's less for the other pieces of the, the pie. So, and you yeah. and I just quickly went through them, and there are a few of those that are in there that we should be at least be aware of and, and what kind of impact they could have on us down the road. So if you could review them for next month, bring in any questions that you may have, Mr. Gorder and I will um, obviously have a recommendation on each of them for you, whether you think it's a good idea or whether it would hurt our school district, and then you ultimately can give Mr. McMullen your um, stance on whether you support or do not support any of those resolutions. And that's always very helpful going in as a delegate to know how our school board stands on it. Sometimes though when you get in there, as Mrs. Buswell said, the, the verbiage changes and you know the direction changes and then you have to <laughs> decide, okay, now <laughs> now where do we stand? Okay. And that gets a little But it does help to thing. know our discussion does help, you know, we right. And you can go up to the microphone and speak as many times as you'd like to. You can. Yeah. And if you are a sponsor of a resolution, they kind of expect that. Yes. So um, you may be maybe fortunate we were delayed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been spared that. Well, I don't know. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe you'll have to speak. In, probably should speak in favor. Okay. All right. Very interesting. Thank you.